need you to watch your back, Tin and I. Detroit smash! <laughs> Motherfucker was on pure black force energy. I need some more black forces. One day, we went to the restroom as a class. I'm handling my business, and all of a sudden, Terrell. Nigga, why your pee brown? Walks in the restroom. Hey, Eli. I told you to watch your back, Tin and I. Bro, I'm not even finna lie to you. If a nigga try me while I'm trying to pee, I'm pissing on him. I don't give a damn. I'm going like, bruh, I'm trying to pee. If you come too close to me, let's try some shit. Bruh. And I don't give a damn y'all call that shit like I ain't do this for a fuck. You not finna fuck with me while I'm trying to pee. You not finna fuck with me while I'm trying to pee. If you try to fuck with me while I'm taking a shit, I'm throwing my shit of paper on you. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Then I'm gonna kick your ass ass over. You not finna fuck with me while I handle my damn business. Listen up! So, this story takes place when I was in grade school. I was a young kid, life was simple. All I was worried about was action figures, my PS2, and the next episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. As a kid, I took- Bro, you wanna know something? I didn't get into Avatar until late. What the book that made me get into Avatar was either the third, I think it was the third or fourth one. In between what Toph got in, but at the same time, well, Aang got shot. He had to go hiding for a little bit. Cause I really didn't see what the hell would have been by Avatar until I started watching it when I got old. I'm like, this the shit, this the shit. Took an interest in girls, but the problem was I wasn't necessarily attractive. Back then, girls were interested in the boys who could run the fastest or who could do the most push-ups. You know, dumb stuff. Yeah. They were not checking for dudes who knew what happened in the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. They were not checking for that. They weren't checking for the smartness. One girl tried to kiss me while I was in first grade. But I chickened out. I was in class in front of everybody. I'm not going to do that shit. But, bro, I'm going to tell you now. They were not checking. They were not checking for me. Yeah, they still ain't checking for me. Shit. In class, I had this crush. Her name was Morgan. She was a brunette Caucasian girl. She was my first little sample of the snowy side of things. We used to always talk while running laps in PE during class recess. Wait, wait, wait. How'd she go from white to brown? She put up a verse of Michael Jackson. We were always spending time together. I was feeling her and I felt like maybe she was feeling me. One day we're running. Bro, did she got Victor Lago or that the shade? This isn't making sense. Laps in PE like usual when this dude named Terrell comes up to me and he's like, Hey, I heard you like Morgan. Yeah. She's mine now. Huh? Watch your back. See, Morgan was his crush too, so I guess he felt threatened by my presence around her. So much so that anytime he caught me alone. Bro, why the fuck are you trying to fight another nigga over a girl that ain't yours? Stop that shit, niggas. Please stop that shit. Stop fighting over a girl that ain't yours, man. What the fuck y'all doing fighting? Is she like this other dude? A little bit with the other dude. Shit. He tried to bully me. I guess to impress her, I had a target on my back now. I had to move differently when around Morgan. I mean, back then I was kind of wimpy. I didn't want to fight, so I just tried my best to avoid him. But I still kept hanging around Morgan. I wasn't scared enough to stop hanging out with her. I had to call his bluff a little bit. I thought maybe he'd just get over it and move on to another girl in our class. One day, we went to the restroom as a class. I'm handling my business and all of a sudden, Terrell walks in the restroom. Hey, Eli, I told you to watch your back, Tin and I. Detroit smash! Bruh. Terrell has slapped me. This wasn't just any slap, though. This slap, it, it had a purpose to send a message. I don't like to repeat myself. 
<laughs> if you know what's best for you, you'll stay away from Morgan. I was in awe, sort of in disbelief. Bruh, pause it. This ain't even about Morgan no more. This is about your goddamn same motherfucking pride. You get your ass up. You tell this nigga. Don't even tell him. Just beanie bop bop. Tell him you, you fucking with one of the goddamn sayings, bitch. You not know who the fuck my people be? Bitch, I got Goku and Vegeta. Have you ever seen that motherfucker crazy, bro? Shit, you don't want to this shit. But a bop bop beanie bop bop That he actually eviscerated my manhood so menacingly. It was so bad, I, I started to break down. Like, I was bawling, bro. I come out of the restroom and everybody's looking, even Morgan. And my teacher sees me and she's like, What happened? Why is your face red? <laughs> Terrell, Terrell slapped me. Terrell, did you do that? <laughs> No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ask him. Bro, I don't care. I would have been like, man, I see that nigga. Fuck that shit. I wouldn't give a damn. I would have got suspended that day. And they were like, why, why he spent? Because that motherfucker right here got. Hey, bro, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I would have been. Cut. I don't know. if I, I would have been mad at him. Because that goddamn motherfucker right there motherfucker sell me out like he motherfucking did. Look at my goddamn face. How the fuck? Who else could have did this shit? Couldn't no dog do this goddamn shit? Had to be goddamn a fist to fate, meat to meat. No homo. Do you see this shit? I wish y'all motherfucking would take the goddamn side. i beat his ass again. Kendall, he was the one, he was, he was the one in there with us. So of course, it being their word versus mine, my teacher does nothing. I went out like a punk that day. My street cred ruined. My reputation, the relationship I built with Morgan, all gone. Later that day, my mom comes to get me from school. I get in the car and she sees my bruised face. Immediately, she's like, um, what happened to your face? This boy hit me today. Oh, hell no. Who is this boy? Did you tell the teacher? I don't play about nobody kid putting their hands on my child. His name's Terrell. And yeah, I told the teacher, but she didn't do anything. Oh, okay. That's all right then. I'll be up there Monday. So my mom comes up to the school and we go to the office and she causes a scene and rightfully so. The office said that they would deal with it and that there's a zero tolerance policy for violence. I don't give a damn about that goddamn policy. Bitch, do you see my fucking face? So a couple weeks pass and I'm sitting in class talking to my friend. Suddenly, the teacher leaves the classroom. While I'm talking to my friend, in the distance I hear, Oh my god. Shut up, Eli. What did you say to me? Shut up, Eli, before I hit you with this bag of crayons. You know what I did to you in the bathroom, right? No, no, Firstly, why, why does he have a big bag of crayons? Like, I know as a kid we did stupid things, but bro, you got a whole 64 pack of Crayolas in a bag. But thinking back to that day in the restroom, all of a sudden, my my body just, just gets it. filled That's with rage. Use your anger. But I calm down. I didn't want to unleash the eight inner gates just Fuck yet. That. I didn't have permission from my sensei. My mother told me in the car that day, if somebody hits you, you hit them back. Okay. I don't care. Don't let nobody hit you and don't let nobody punk you. So heeding that from my mother, I wait for him to make the first advancement, mm -hmm. but I keep talking. A couple minutes pass and Terrell gets up out of his seat and comes to the row I'm on and knocks me out of my chair. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to take off the weights. Do it. I get up with all of this anger, Do it. this power Do it. surging through Do it. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, up, Terrell. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. Rock. Yes, up. Yes, up. I yes, stand up. over him with this. Mm -hmm. This look in my eyes. Mm -hmm. In that moment, mm -hmm. he knew I was the alpha. Mm -hmm. Terrell started to ball his eyes out just <laughs> like I was in the restroom that day. Mm -hmm. And then the teacher walks in. Hey, what's going on in here? I Eli just, just punched Terrell. Yeah. Boys, come with me. The school was threatening to expel me after that. My mom got them to bring it down to a suspension, but I didn't like who I had become. That 
is spell me. Y'all didn't spell this nigga for sapping me. So shit, the fuck you mean? Hell, then he started with me. Then he pushed me. The fuck do y'all mean? Look, man, I'm tired of y'all and this goddamn bullshit. Shit, hell, he don't want to be saved. Don't save him. Because shit, hell, apparently he wanted to be his creator. Because goddamn, no. That day, Terrell had got me to stoop down to his level of black Air Force energy. Man, let me stop capping like I didn't enjoy every second of it. Moral of the story. I'm saying, turn into Aaron Yeager on these motherfuckers. If somebody is bullying you, you gotta stand up for yourself. Cause once they find out that you're going to keep enabling them, they're gonna keep taking advantage of you. Also, Terrell never messed with me another day in his life. 